Hippity hoppity, your puffs are now my property, everyone. Oh, and your carrots, because I love carrots. But Winnie the Bunny is here to take it all and then some. We'll also run about his rabbit kingdom in fluffy style. So from familiar yet unique crafts to a stuck to theme, I think you already know what this mod is going to do to me. So thanks, hurry atrapayadas, for your work, and here's hoping a bit more love shown to Wunny. We'll get him hopping. And speaking of the love of the hop, Wunny comes from the land down under and always enjoys a visit home. His family does too, and will immediately begin to follow Wunny the moment he approaches, meaning there is no need to trade carrots for loyalty at the end of the day. But if you are willing to trade some lives, then you might consider killing your own brethren, as you could walk away with a few more puffs as Wunny, as you have a 50% chance to receive a puff upon killing a bunnyman. And that's up from the normal 25% mind. It's not bad, but do note that it's supposed to drain your sanity by 10 per kill, but it's just not doing so at this moment. So there's that. There's also this. Cheaper rabbit hutches. While playing as Wunny, he will be able to craft these hutches with half the resources we would need otherwise, which is absolutely bonkers. Take advantage for sure. Surface bunnies are going to be way easier to amass now. But before we truly head back up to said surface, let us mention a couple final cave perks here. While a bit bugged currently, Wunny shouldn't lose any sanity when traversing the deep dark caves, which is no surprise. However, another bonus would be his damage increase while he's down here too. A 10% increase to be exact. The bunny slash rabbit kingdom is his indeed. And I really don't think there's anything any rabbit or bunny can say about it. And if they do, I don't think Wunny is going to think twice about stealing their carrots. Well, perhaps he will a little bit, for you see, killing rabbits not only offers him a 50% chance to get an additional carrot per morsel, he will also be losing 10 sanity per rabbit along the way. But if you're not willing to pay that price, there is actually an alternative. Digging up rabbit holes here. One will get one carrot per rabbit hole, and while it is true that they will only regrow come summer, at least they have regrowth mechanics in the first place, am I right? Plus, Wunny is able to make his own rabbit holes anyways, which is a huge plus. It's going to be great for team play. And yes, as you can see, all rabbits will be fine with Wunny nearby, so use that to your advantage as well. But now that we are officially up here, I guess the guide officially begins. So Wunny will be entering the constant at 150 hunger, 185 sanity, and 115 health respectively, which is a strange spread for sure. But no surprise here, while he was stronger in the caves, as we saw, he's going to be 10% weaker on the surface no matter what, so be aware of that. Now it's not too bad, and it's kind of forgotten rather quickly once you do remember how Wunny is very, very fast. Now, he's supposed to get faster over the course of the day at the cost of an ever-increasing hunger drain as a downside, but that all appears to be done broken at the moment. I think the guy is just straight up 20-30% to 30 faster than all others in the game, so that's a thing. As are all those familiar, yet still unique crafts I mentioned, like the bunny pack here. As far as I can tell, it is just a straight up piggyback with a new recipe and a new look, but I do enjoy the commitment to all things things bunny. Still, I think I do two things here. Make a carrot-related perk to the pack, and maybe make Pikmin hostile to Wunny to help drive the point home. Especially when we've also got the bunny helm. Now, this thing does do new things, actually, so combined with its puffy craft, anticipate a teensy tiny winter insulation instead of wetness protection while it's upon your noggin. Not bad, all around. But if all of that still wasn't enough, one here is still just the character, folks, so he has some day to day perks to juggle as well as he's a vegetarian. Now we can only eat veggies, with a couple exceptions of course, but we'll still net a 33% bonus to their restored stats, so don't go thinking it's going to be that bad of an outside. I would get to farming as soon as possible, or stick to your roots and keep munching on them stolen carrots, as they are actually going to give you 50% more per bite instead. Good luck. And before we go today, no. Wunny, unfortunately, does not have a unique ghost or a voice yet, but he does enter the constant with two rabbits, two carrots, two bunny puffs, and a shovel. 
So that's nice. But folks, there you have it. Oney the bunny for Don't Starve Together. Once again, we have got ourselves a simple but sweet mod with a solid foundation, but not a whole lot of traction at the moment. Like I said the other day, sometimes these guys just need a bit more love from the community, so I am very happy to show them some on occasion. So thanks again to Hurry Etra Piedas for your rather recent work, and I hope you'll return to a fine one very soon. I said my best. Thanks for watching, everyone. Well wished to all, hop on over to the workshop, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.